morning everyone it's 1st of January 2018 how exciting a new year so last night we had a lovely dinner a bit of dancing and came back home I think around 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. I don't remember today we slept until noon so yeah a very lazy start of the year what are your thoughts on New Year's resolutions Tokai doesn't believe in New Year's resolutions but I'm a huge believer in having some kind of intentions for the new year so in the next few days I'm gonna be thinking a lot about that and trying to be more mindful of uh, what I want to achieve this year I really look forward to an amazing 2018 and it has started off wonderfully we came to this beautiful lake near Oxford and it's so peaceful here there's no one it's perfect Hi everyone, we drove 45 minutes to this place called Hartwell House and it's amazing. It has a church, a hotel and spa and I hear that the afternoon tea is amazing here. Um, we had a big breakfast so I think we're just gonna have a coffee or tea. Um, maybe some cake. Let's see. How was the drive? It's quite stressful. We have to give the car back today. And I had to drive in pretty heavy rain early in the morning. I'm not really comfortable. And all the roads obviously that lead to this tucked away hotels are all country roads. Single lane, 60 miles an hour. And I'm a bit nervous driving on those because they're quite curvy as well and lots of cars get stuck behind me and then try and overtake me so to be honest I'm creating a lot of danger on these roads <laughs> in the UK over the last few few weeks I guess um, yeah I think it'll be safer for everyone that I stop driving and go to the US finally and cause havoc there <laughs> We're here at the Hardwell house and we're just having a coffee but they give us this whole room for ourselves and I love all the details, it has lovely um, artwork and everything very classic and old school. I love this place, it's so peaceful and the whole interior, I find it very inspiring and I don't know, being here is just boosts your creativity. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's really, really charming. I love it. If you are staying in Oxford, I highly recommend coming here. Check it out. And even if it's for just a coffee, it's the ambience. It's just fantastic. So. Yeah, I'm very happy we made it here. Today is our last day in the UK. Oh my God, it's been an amazing two weeks. We've seen so much of the countryside here. We spent really good quality time with our family. And honestly, I'm a bit sad to leave life goes on. I'm very excited about uh, our new journey in the US but it's been such a great break to come here to the UK and relax a bit before the madness starts again. Right now we're at this manor house called Hyunden. Hyunden. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Hyunden. Hyunden. 
Houston. 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 Manor houses here in the UK they are so beautiful and you learn a bit of history every time you visit and they're always surrounded by a lot of nature so it's a great outing idea now we're gonna go and have some tea and cake or like a snack and head back home oh my god this is so me you know we are in the UK when there's a book that's solely scones recipes 50 of them. Wow.